Hey everybody, welcome back to Wipad XL, and this will be the last time we see the AGS. Uh, and just done being a good pick? Because, yeah, yeah, pretty much, from, from the end of Venom onwards, it's just too risky for me. I know that certain thread goers will call me a coward, but... Yeah, man, just <laughs> gotta do what you gotta, gotta do. Yeah, just, I mean, whatever works, man. It, it, some of them, some of them may be more courageous about these things. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a complete bitch. Yeah, me, so, I, 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 I like to win. I know I like to win, and you know, and I you don't cry enjoy. If you don't. I don't enjoy anything more than I enjoy winning. So, except for food. But yeah, so this is a Piranha Park, right? Yeah, this is Pir this is Piranha Park. Phoenicia. Same thing. This is Phoenicia Whatever, Park. This is Mario Kart or something. I don't know. Which. Which is in um, Germany. Is that why the sky is orange? And that is a freaking cool sky. Um, no, the sky. That is a freaking cool sky. Um, this is actually meant to be a That's sort of cool. sunset track. I mean, the sunset is going in all directions, but right, right. the sun is setting all around you. <laughs> well, that's the way old games were. You had a skybox, and it looked the same well, in every direction. Yeah. Unavoidable, really. <laughs> Also, um, I don't know whether YouTube's content system will trigger, this is Left Field's Afro Ride, which I thought was yeah, fitting with the tempo of the track. You've got a couple of, couple of jumps, a couple of long corners, but you can tell this is more a speed yeah. track than a technical track, right. with the exception of that chicane. That one corner looks... yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, pro... Pro tip, I hate chicanes. How is that a pro tip? How <laughs> is that a tip? <laughs> well, any, anyone who's sane hates wow. a chicane. It, was that supposed it to just run? slows you down. This is a pretty sick sick track. Both yeah. the music yeah. and, the, uh, and the, yeah. the track. Yeah, it's a pretty cool track. I like that, I like that tunnel. Track. Unfortunate. Yeah, go on. Oh yeah, the tunnel and the cameras, all, all the little details. That's make a split this back game. there. How much of a difference does that make? Uh, none at all, because oh, that's okay. the pit stop. Which, New again, game. we yeah, we won't be see seeing. Oh no, it's it's fine. Most people won't until about I think episode oh. five or six, because. Like any other good wipeout player, I hate using yeah. the pit stop. So, as a as a beginning wipeout player, how often would you accidentally drive into the pit stop and then go, "Well, shit." Um, in most tracks, it's much harder to get into the pit stop than it is to just carry right. on. All right. Unfortunately, also for the beginning wipeout player, it's pretty easy to pit yeah. the AGS get hit by two missiles, three mines, and yeah, then explode. Yeah. So I've also kind of noticed, so in these two Venom tracks, the first one you went down to, like, South America, you know, driving through, mm -hmm. like, a Mayan temple or something, and now you're over to Germany, and I've noticed kind of, you know, in those uh, racing games at the time, you start out, like, the, f the first game might be in, like, America or something, you got, you know, Cruise in USA, and then Cruise in World, oh man, anyone play those games, they were great. But so is that basically I'm what's so going confused. on here? Like, what the hell was all? Wipeout that? three is going to be like you're across the entire galaxy or something? Pro probably not. No, I'm I'm afraid the furthest we ever get in the series is right. Mars yeah, in Star. the first game. Well, the furthest you ever got in Cruising World was yeah. Mars, so the sky's the limit. Do you think they take place in the same universe? Probably not. Yeah, no, I doubt it. I don't think so. I think nah, Cruise and USA nah. could take place in any universe. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> so you said in the thread that uh, even though it's got a long lock-on animation, uh, the the homing missile you don't actually need to wait. Right, you don't need to wait. How how like is it literally the moment the animation begins you've already locked on? Yeah, oh. you've already locked on. Oh okay. So you if you're not really particular, well. Is, it a, is there a way to switch targets? Like if you're uh, only if you get in front, only if you get in front of the person you're currently targeting. Okay. 
also once again missing with the plasma ball. It's a shame really because as we've seen in video 2 when you hit with that it's an insta kill right. in this game. That is a real shame. Yeah. So I don't know if you've ever addressed it but I saw on your thread that there are technically like checkpoints on these levels you said. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see in the top left you've got the check timer and at certain points it'll refresh. So so these are like just um, right there. basically challenges to get to the next spot or and they won't respawn you like you will literally explode in DNF. Oh, okay. If you don't make the check in time. Okay. However, if you're doing this, then you're a goddamn moron. Yeah. Right. Because it, it gives you at least one and a half, one and a half times the time you actually need. Okay. Yeah, I've played games like this where I didn't even notice they had, like, checkpoint time limits because I, like, never got close at all. They're probably a carryover from arcade games where usually the checkpoint times were pretty, you know, strict. True. And you might fail those, but... Yeah. Um, it does get a little more strict in Rapier and Phantom, and you will occasionally hear the uh, the loud sirens that uh, happen as a result of getting down to the timer. I think it's about five seconds where that happens. Also, still can't use weapons oh. while you got a shield on. Oh, well. Will that change? Uh, it'll sort of change... But it varies from series to series. I think you can still use turbo in this game while you're shielded, but that's the only thing. Now, what if, what if you've got a quake and you activate it right before a jump, and then you like boost and you ride up the jump as it's you know being like terraformed? Would you get an even bigger jump? No, I'm afraid not. Rats. So much potential. With a turbo, you can actually catch yourself in the quake in Phantom right, mode. Yeah, I remember you said you said something. Well, you kind of hinted at that in the thread when you were saying talking. Yeah, about the, quake. the 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 floor with the quake. We've seen it now in Venom mode. We'll see it again in Rapier, and it doesn't change speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was what this was a design flaw they fixed by the next game. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, that would be a big problem. So, if you get caught by it, it's like as though somebody else used it on you? Yeah, so, pretty much. Okay. Okay. It kind of sucks. That's really the So, next time... Yeah. Next time we've got Rapier Mode, and we've got Garderopa, one of the first really tough tracks. See you then. Oh, boy.